Hey, how y'all doing folks? Hey, we're gonna be doing another, uh, this is a, another power edition, home power, with a uh, solar and wind power, uh, power bill. And I'm grid tying and I'm, you know, grid tying and I got battery back up to my house and I'm feeding all my loads. So I'm helping out my electric bill more than you can ever imagine. We had winter storm Jonah here back around January 22nd in that area I made a film up we had 16 inches of snow here in Virginia southern Virginia and that's we don't get a lot of snow uh, snow like that big snow and we got we it's, it's been cold this whole month um, sometimes 15 at night some we had seen some 9 and 10 degree nights really cold but a conditioned crawl space uh, new heat pump new whole lot more energy efficient LED light bulbs and the solar and wind power. That really helps. It really helps out a lot. But my bill this month, y'all, was four. I used four kilowatt hours. And I believe it was eight dollars and seventy-two cents. It went up, I think, eight cents since last month. But we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna give you, a, you know, show you what it is. I'm just gonna be a quick video. Just power bill. Talk about energy efficiency, what you can do to help out your power bill. That kind of stuff. There's a lot of, and I'm running, y'all, I'm running 95 to 97% electric. The only thing that's not electric in my house is my gas range and oven. And that's because if we've got a power outage, we can still cook, heat water, that kind of stuff. And I have a set of gas logs to for emergency heat. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You just, in the wintertime, get ice to them or whatever. Or a bad snowstorm, you want you need you need heat of some source, wood or wood heat, wood stove, wood boiler, or propane uh, gas logs or propane heat of some some type, um, blue flame wall heater, whatever. But it, it it all helps out. But main thing is I have solar. Yeah, it helps save on my power bill, but I also like it because when I have, when the power is out, I still have means of power. And if you want to keep your food and everything from going spoiling or going bad on you and you don't have you don't have a generator or whatever thing but generators can be costly so can propane generators uh, especially if they're out for a right long amount of time if your power is out for like two weeks you're looking at a big propane bill so solar is a good way to go to keep refrigerators and your lights on that kind of stuff um, but anyway I'm, I'm gonna stop jibbering jabbing but I'm gonna give you a, a power bill so let's go check it out, y'all. Y'all know my system. Very many videos. Uh, it's not. It's my. Hey, everybody's system is different. This is a grid tie battery backup system. So it's the best of both worlds. All right, it's a 24 volt system. All right, and these are Kyocera panels. And few there on the front are Alt-E, great panels. They're UL solar panels, they're great, very great panels, but now they're out of business. Now I will explain to you is buy quality solar panel, y'all. Because what happens in the future, if, oh yeah, 25 year warranty, 30 year warranty, whatever, or 10 year work, workmanship, that's all great. But if the company's out of business, like these right there, I'm not trying to name names, but UL solar, they're out of business now. What good is a 10 or 25 year warranty going to do you? So buy quality. Kira Sierra, all these been in business I think since 1989. Somewhere in that ballpark, maybe 1999. Uh, they're good panels. So as long as they stay in business, hey, you got a chance of, you know, your panel's going to be, be there for a while. Or hopefully somebody else buys them out and, buys them out and honors a warranty. But the Kira Sierra panels, and this is to go with my power bill. Uh, but they are rigid and they are beast. These are 135 watt Kyocera solar panels back from like 2009. And they are still pumping out the power and are strong. You got some of the thickest glass on the market. The frames are unreal. For example, these frames are like, I mean, uh, thicker than you can ever imagine. These are double wall. I mean, these are stout. 
Okay, these are the 135s. And here's the sticker on them. And these are some beasts. But you get what you pay for, y'all. These aren't these aren't cheap. These are like a two hundred and seventy nine dollars each or two hundred and ninety seven dollars each. Uh, that's him. Sorry for the shaking. All right. Now you think these the, the, look strong? Okay. The the newer series, Blue Cell. I mean, them bad boys got a ridge right. I mean, a uh, cross member right through the middle of them. Aluminum cross member right through the sl slap day in the middle of them. And they weigh 28 pounds a piece. And they are stout for a 140 watt panel. There's are 140s. All right, here's the tag on these. And safety first, y'all. You want everything grounded, light and surge protected. That's all it takes. One, it, it don't even have to strike. Strike your. Uh, here's a here's the panel. That's the LFBS. Tough panel. I highly recommend them. They're tried and true and tested. All right, let's get off there. But with lightning and surge protection is a must. All right, like right here. You got a midnight solar, lightning and surge protection. You could have lightning up in the air around your solar panels. I mean, the electric, like, like electrical static charge. Okay. You got wind turbines. You got all these electrical connections. You don't, if you don't have lightning and surge protection, you're looking out for a, a, a hazard of all, um, you know, your stuff getting shorted out. Or even the EMP. You know what I mean? It, anything, but make sure you got your stuff protected. That's why you got combiner boxes. And the combiner boxes because all your PV cables go in there, they're tied to one, and you feed your cables over to what you got. All right. For example, your lightning surge protection, all ground, all your grounds, everything runs to your main DC disconnect. Now, DC disconnect is a must. Okay, you got your ground wire coming down, coming down. Bam. Okay, ground there. Everything I have is grounded. There's another gr grounds from a one array. Then I got, a, I mean, grounds all over the place. It's just safety first. If you want to protect your equipment, um, everything's insured, and everything's work is inspected from my power company. I used to work for the power company, but there's grounds, inverter, battery bank, you name it, DC disconnect. Uh, every every PV combiner box has a ground on it. And that's, everybody's, you probably think, oh, that's a lot of grounds. But you know what? When stuff hits the f fan or, you know, you got lightning, lightning in the area, I mean, it could get wicked around here. Or anywhere, you know, in the country. Or around the world. That's another PV combiner box over there. I'll get to that. Uh, but yeah, it, it, the off-grid battery backup or grid tie battery backup is a whole lot more sophisticated than what your grid just your plain grid tie stuff is but when power goes out you still have power i mean yeah you can buy a grid tile system and go ac coupled that's that's a that's a good option but over here there's an that's another small tw 24 volt array going to my big system here and here's my combiner box this is a must, y'all. This is a must. So, lightning, surge protection, and everything I got. So, all right, let's go inside and see the power bill, y'all. Okay, y'all, we're inside the shop. It is no sun at all outside. It's like a 84% humidity outside. It's 49 degrees. We're making about 189 watts, one of them dog day, winter days. And it's not making a whole lot, but hey, we're making something. 
So that's my Bogart Trimetric. That is awesome, awesome piece of equipment. With the FNDC, that's that the Outback FNDC. And your hub. Flex Max 80s. Or your midnight, whichever you prefer. It's awesome equipment. That's your DC disconnect box. That can, that you can rapidly shut down your inverter, all that stuff. Midnight kid. Um, great unit. Uh, diversion control loader for the wind turbines. So if you get too much voltage to your battery banks, bam, it shuts them off. And it diverts power into that. It's a bunch of resistors right there inside that uh, air heater. All right, amp, amp meters, one under analog style, digital one right here, and my Bogart. That's that's wired to my shunt for wind. It'll show me how many watts, amps, anything you want to know about the Bogart, it'll, it'll do it. Um, anyway, I got the Outback GTFX 3524. It's one heck of a unit, y'all. One heck of a unit. Can you stress that enough? All right. Well, let's go ahead and get the power bill. and put my CNI glasses on real quick. I'll make a ledger. Y'all know what it was last month. I got a video on it. But every day I record what kind of power I have been making. The, the, the cloud, the, like MC, mostly cloudy. I could have said part cloudy, but mostly cloudy. Um, but just different things. Cloudy. Um, rain, 1.8. That's my chicken scratch. That's nice. But yeah, y'all, it just... Um, I'm sorry. MC means mostly clear. Okay, that's my bad. Sorry about that, y'all. Mostly clear. Part cloud, either one. Then you got rain and snow days and back and forth. But right here, January, we had that big snow snowstorm, Jonah, and that was the twenty second. Right here, that's the twenty second. Yeah, we made two hundred eighty watts. Shoot, we made three point three hundred watts. Okay, I mean, we made 1.180, that was the wind turbines. So that's not too bad <laughs> for snow. And it snowed, excuse me, 22nd and 23rd, it snowed two, day, two straight days, just about. Winter Storm Jonah. Whatever right there. All right, but it's been as cold. The temperature's like the high of 38, high of 27, just so on and so on. And, that, and it's, that's important for your electric bill. And I got a video series on there. It's called Redoing My Heat Pump, Heating System, KBUF, KBUSMC, uh, about condition crawl space. It's ways you can help heat your home. I have an electric heat pump, three ton, and it takes 10,000 watts to, uh, to get her up and running, 240. All right, power bill. All right. Yes, Dominion, the great power company, Dominion Virginia Power. I think it's the one, some of the, one of the best in the country. Um, they cover Virginia, North Carolina, and West Virginia, North Carolina, and West Virginia, and a lot of other they have a lot of other divisions. But eight dollars and sixty-four cent. Whoop! Wrong one, y'all. My bad. That's last month. But I like it. I like seeing this in the single digits. Uh, huh. All right, here it is. This is the right one right here. Um, anyway, eight dollars and seventy two cent. And last year we burnt three kilowatt hour. We did better last year, but then again it was a little bit colder this year. Just yeah, a little bit. All it takes. This year we burnt four kilowatt hours, and that's my meter usage right there. It's, it's from 113 through 212, four kilowatt hours. And uh, anyway, so that's, 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 
that's kicking some wind and solar, y'all. So, and I'll, I'll tell you what we got. We got distribution service seven dollars and nine cent. All right. Um, just you gotta have you gotta pay that to have the service. Electrical, electric supply. Gener uh, twenty cent and transmission five cent fuel ten cent so twenty five and ten thirty five cent was my actual electric bill thirty five cent all right if you want to get technical and that's what we're trying to do here tax Chester County utility tax dollar forty six so there it is y'all eight dollars and seventy two cent so my actual bill is only thirty five cent but hey not too bad y'all but yeah, y'all keep on trying. And I just added the panel panel at a time. Um, you know, doing the, doing the work. But this is my big my big battery bank. Three hundred eighty eight amp hours. I got Outback Energy Cell two hundred GH batteries in it, grid hybrid batteries, AGMs. So they are tough. They're like twenty year batteries. Uh, also. Another thing right here. This is a this is a good book. Code, all that stuff. Solar Electric Handbook, 2015 edition. Anything you want to know? Set solar calculations of your panels. This, that. Wrong ways about doing things. Great ways about doing things. It's right there. And it talks about grid tie, grid tie battery backup, off grid, PV power, all that kind of stuff. And Michael Boxwell. Great super book. Okay, well, I hope that's everything. But here's my bill. And four kilowatt hours is y'all. Alright. Okay, y'all. Well, I want to say thank y'all for watching. I hope I didn't bore y'all too much. And hey, y'all have a great one. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you like to do. Give me some good comments. I got last some really good comments from my last video on this power bill. But but then again, the people that you know, I get a yeah, one little just one bad egg in every group. And I was like say, so you know what I'm saying? I mean, if anybody it makes the effort to try to make a good video and try to, to do something, I'm hey, I'm I'm hey, I'm I'm going to say, "Hey, good job. You're trying." If there's something wrong, I'm going to let them know. And my system is not perfect, but it's it's insured, it's been inspected, it's licensed. So hey, we're good to go. All right, y'all. And the main thing is safety first. I wouldn't be doing running anything or doing anything wrong to jeopardize me, my family, or anybody else, or with the law that is. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Please subscribe. God bless and semper fi. All right now. Bye bye.